Now I believe I can be all I dream The connection to destiny Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and I am now at the Ancestral Wall and it's here in Prom Prom. I'm actually here just having some lunch and I had some tilapia and some chips and it was so, so delicious. But guess what? This place is owned by an African-American man who is married to a Ghanaian and um, he moved here quite some time ago to this area and he has now created this lodging space, restaurant, slash ancestral wall. And so I'll be glad to show you guys what's on this wall, the, the African leaders that you can see here, um, everybody that has made a contribution to Africa, the continent, and um, to Africans, you know, whether you were in America or not. So you're gonna see lots of different type of people on this wall, it's very, very, very nice. And um, I've been learning so much from the owner, Jerry Johnson here. So hopefully I can grab him and just introduce him to you all so that um, you will know his face. And when you are in the area, please, if you're in Accra, come to Prom Prom and come here and stay. The lodging is amazing. I'm gonna show it to you. So make sure you come, stay, you can eat, you can learn, and you can just have a good time and a relaxing time. And it's not far from the beach. If you can see the ocean behind me, you know, it's not very far. So let's see if we can grab Jerry, all right? All right, so I am here. I found the owner here, Jerry Johnson, my new friend. Hey. <laughs> and we have had some very deep conversation the last hour or so just about the education system here in Ghana and our contribution to the continent and to Ghana in particular. So is there anything that you would like to say to my audience? <laughs> Yes, I, I would, because uh, a lot of our people all around the diaspora are not truly aware of what is in Africa, and are truly aware of the potential, and uh, not truly aware of the intangible good feelings that you have and some of the things that, that you take for granted once you're here, but when you get back in the U.S., you realize you're under a lot of pressure that you didn't know you were under until you left it. Yes. So I think... Um, not just for the personal, but what we've been talking about is for the group and uh, people having motivations to come back to build for the group. Now, what we've been talking about is one of the fundamental things we're building for the group, of course, is, is orienting our children uh, in such a way that uh, they're prepared to build for the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are trying to do at the Ancestral Wall, even though I'm happy to see tourists come and people come, mm -hmm. but originally and still the number one mission for this is the socialization of African children. Yeah. We're trying to get our children through here early and young so they begin to inculcate values of uh, competence, confidence, high expectations, and when we mention high expectations, we're not just talking about uh, making money. We're not talking about um, getting a scholarship to some European or American university. Although we're not telling you that's the worst thing in the world. Right. But that should not be the end in itself. Okay, it's right. Because here you are on the richest land the world has ever seen. That's right. And if you're outward oriented, you're going to find out that everyone else is going to take advantage of this mm -hmm. richest land that the world's ever seen while you're outside somewhere hustling to be a sidekick. <laughs> exactly. You know, and don't kid yourself, even if you're a VP at some uh, Fortune 500 country company in the U.S., you're still a sidekick. Mm -hmm. Your sidekick is because it's not yours. That's right. The That's land, right. It will never be yours. It's never yours. And it's not coming. Mm -hmm. And so here, we're trying to make sure our children know that they should build from where they are. Be confident about who they are, what they can do. And so as we go through these historical figures with the children, mm -hmm. um, it's very uh, enlightening to watch the younger ones you know, because they've never even heard of some of these things. Mm -hmm. It's not just the people, but just the idea that we've done so many of the things that we've done. Yeah. And, uh, and what happens is if you don't get that, you don't grow up with expectations of being sovereign and independent mm -hmm. people. You grow up with expectations of your coming up having to do with someone else reaching their hand down to you. Exactly. And that someone else, that other hand you're looking for is generally not a black hand. Right. It's been a, it's been a white <laughs> hand, but soon we'll be looking for the yellow hand and the other right. hand. 
and uh, Dr. Clark used to tell us, look in the mirror mm. for the people who yeah. are going to rescue you. Right. That's all you have. And so our children need to understand that. And um, once they do, uh, I think the world is going to open up for us. Yeah. Wow. Just. And I'm, this sister here is uh, deep in education, so yes. we have a lot to do, a lot to talk about. Yeah. And try to figure out how we can be productive and do things for African youth. That are systematic, easily available, and impactful. Uh, Absolutely. We can, and we can do it. Absolutely, yes. So if you're out there, um, most of you all know that I have started the Chalkboard Project Africa, and um, it is due to youth youth programming and teacher training. And so, you know, if you can create materials, of course, um, my I have Content. created my own curriculum for for my pr programs, but you know. Mr. Johnson here also needs, you know, things. So just let us know your ideas in the comments. Well, I'm going to tell you something, and I hope I'm not getting someone else uh, money. Uh, I, I produced something called the Marcus Garvey Cups. Okay. CUBS. It's 100 stories uh, that I wrote. Okay. And then I uh, did them all in my voice, and then I did voiceovers. It took okay. Me several years to do it, and I give that away free. But I realized that uh, somebody, I just looked on some, it's, it's like on Amazon and this and that. I don't even know who hijacked it, but, and it's been there for a long time. So uh, if you look at Marcus Garvey Cubs, these are 100 <laughs> stories. Uh, don't buy them. Contact me. They're all free. Oh, my god! You know, some people are selling them as albums and all kind of stuff. Wow. I, don't, I don't know if they're successful or not, but um, yeah. there's audio stories. The idea there was to... Uh, have the children engage their imagination, mm. build pictures in their minds for themselves as they listen to stories that are affirming for African children. Exactly. Uh, wow. Chock full Amazing. of history with all voiceovers, the whole thing. I even, we old man even this. had to learn how to use Pro Tools just so I could edit the <laughs> doggone thing, you know. So, so we I'll, can definitely use this yeah, for, so for our sure project. You, yeah. Sure you have the copy, have them. Yeah, and, and yeah. that's just a word of advice like, guard your thoughts guard your mind uh, you know the things that you have you know don't share it with everybody and uh mm, but i actually to be honest with you i ain't really all that mad about it because <laughs> the whole, whole idea it, is to propagate you know what we're trying to do to get and, the information uh, uh, out there brothers out there a few brothers making a few coins yeah uh, and, uh, i ain't really hunting them down that hard <laughs> what we're really trying to do is get get something get the for info the babies out. yeah yeah so we can use so that gets back to the products mm -hmm. you know that i'm trying to be product oriented so people have something they can use mm -hmm. i feel mm -hmm. like we have to fill up this african youth toolbox we so do. people who want something whether it's curriculum video stories this and that mm -hmm. can go to the toolbox get it out and, and start using start it, using it. That's and right. we have a lot more out there than i think we take advantage of so uh, that's something we need to talk about too yes yeah. yes yes definitely well thank you so much for your time thank you. for showing me around today that'll be cool yes yeah we yeah. have uh, had a wonderful time thank so. you yes thank right. you Keep okay this place is just beautiful just looking at these pictures and reflecting on the contributions that they had to Africans, to African Americans, to the world, really, um, has just been very enlightening. And um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's a bit emotional um, for me at least. I just, there's a lot that I think about and a lot that I consider um, because I know the work that you have to put in being a leader is not easy <laughs> you know and it takes a lot and so when i think about their lives and a lot of them gave their lives for the cause so um just amazing work so this was a very very good experience i'm happy that i was able to come and visit here and, and we'll definitely be back again and i hope that you will come back too or come too okay so tell your friends about it when you're looking for a place to stay in prom prom please come here and um, support Mr. Johnson and um, he's good people and good company all right and until next time see you later see you later